Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please do not forget to hit the like button it helps the video a lot so let's get started so as usual we're gonna start with uh, with the Dixie and uh, we are on the weekly time frame uh, we had a nice bullish week uh, until the end of it where we saw on Friday uh, the dollar dipping back to the downside after the uh, NFP release. So as you see here, the, the Dixie was doing well, broking the neckline and moving to the upside to then start seeing that the weekly close came uh, much, much lower, which is a little bit worrying because if we check the daily time frame now, we, we were looking at, uh, and as I mentioned in my previous weekly overview, that after this break to the upside it could be logical to get a retest and continuation but i don't really like that we've got such a huge candle on friday to the downside but all in all i i still think that retest of this broken neckline could be a potential scenario that we've got a retest and maybe a continuation looking at the size of the candle here on the uh, during the nfp uh, this four hour time frame and the bearish uh, move uh, the whole day in friday is a little bit scary as i said but i mean we still have uh, structure wise the, the the major levels are still there they are still holding i'm seeing this as one swing yet another swing with a higher low and an extended swing here so i'm looking to see if we're gonna get some kind of a retest and continuation or it if it's going to be a failure and uh, a continuation to the downside is, instead but in my opinion as far as the dixie is holding above uh, this um, a trend line here if we make it a little bit prettier something like that as far as we are holding above that trend line we could still see potential continuation because our latest move was a break to the upside so uh, textbook we should be looking for a retest and continuation but i don't like the, the the strength of this move but who knows it was at the end of the week and all that new week next week so we will see what will happen i am a dollar bull so i would love to see a continuation here guys uh, gold so uh, finally gold <laughs> broke the out of the range it was pretty boring when gold been trading inside this range here but as you saw last week we've got a, a break to the downside after this little flag here we've got the break and after that break and i've been saying that for a while now that after um, play the range until you have a breakout and when the breakout follow that uh, direction and we've got a really nice bounce all the way down near the area that i've been talking about as a potential level of um, a bullish defense so if we go back to the daily time frame you see that uh, the area got tested but not really uh, tagged the previous lows this still could be the case now keep in mind that gold been trending to the downside yeah so the last move was yet another uh, continuation but i still want to see if this low gonna get tagged or not and um, that would be more interesting because uh, we will know if there is bulls at that level if they tag it because if they manage to break below that on the daily we might see continuation actually back down towards 1665 as well so pretty nice level i will uh, keep an eye here anyway uh, since we are still uh, trending down the first idea should be potentially a retest to the broken structure and uh, maybe uh, a continuation move to the downside so that is what i what i will be watching for next week because the the latest move is still impulse correction another impulse 
we will see if this will be a retest and continuation as first idea because it did not tag the lows i do like to see uh, these levels getting tagged before a uh, reversal with higher highs and higher lows so that's why i'm waiting for that potential short term um, shorter trade uh, oil checking the uh, weekly time frame we see that oil broke really strongly to the upside above the 200 moving average on the weekly that is a big deal guys breaking and closing above all these um, uh, potential uh, reversal signals we had uh, it did break and close above that that is uh, major checking the daily also you see it been very strongly pushing to the upside so if we go back to the weekly we will see that there is not much uh, resistance now on the way since uh, it broke above these levels as well uh, and uh, next um, area of uh, interest gonna be at around the, the 65 area up here actually so that is uh, a potential uh, bullish target uh, here we see uh, still a very strong momentum and the uh, long term i think that is the potential target so let's go down to a lower time frame and try to make sense of this so the last move was a break above this whole structure here i am very interested to see a correction back down and then to start look for continuation hopefully we will see something like that if this would be the last high we're gonna have and oil start reversing then that would be lovely because that area also when this coincidence at around the 618 fibonacci previous structure perfect level for a retest and continuation if this market to start correcting already without continuing making higher highs if that would be the case then we need to draw that fibonacci retracement once again so i do like this level this is going to be my kill zone if that would be the case uh, let's keep moving euro usd checking the daily time frame here we saw that we had a nice break of this previous structure and i was looking actually for a retest and continuation but we end up with a bullish engulfing candle on friday i don't really like that i like the corrections to be slowly going like this and then give me a, a continuation to the downside but if we check the lower time frame we saw that after this uh, strong break to the downside we've got an equal strong move back up uh, but all in all we're still below these structures here it is um, about to test those levels and we will see we might see that continuation to the downside anyway so i will be waiting on this level on the lower time frame like the one hour maybe check for potential double tops in this area and to see if we're gonna see uh, that reversal happening um, a head and shoulder would also be a nice idea here at around the 200 moving average on the one hour rsi is already um, overbought on the one hour time frame a double top with some divergence uh, bearish divergence would be great so um as first i will watch this level for a potential continuation i don't i think after this break um, the market um, should be targeting somewhere at around 1.19 uh, i think that is a good level for the bears to uh, take profit we will see what will happen it is not good that euro did uh, manage to move back above 1.120 uh, but let's see let's watch and see because uh, my first idea was after this break look for a retest here and then continuation that failed and we will see if this level also will fail or not next week uh, sterling sterling is doing very good at the moment actually still making these higher lows on the weekly time frame still pushing toward this area this level here is still a level of interest it did not break above it yet but as you see if we check the weekly candles um, they are all are bullish but we start having a little bit of trouble as you see the wicks from below from above there is uh, trouble on the way here checking the daily time frame there was an attempt to push lower last time we tested this area but that also failed with a strong rejection to the upside on thursday and friday uh, also another bullish candle now all in all since there is no break above these highs 
I'm not interesting to go long yet here until I see a break then we look for a retest continuation otherwise it is still a sell level as far as this is not broken it is still a potential sell level for one more leg to the downside so that is what I'm watching as first on this uh, market here uh, and if they manage to break above these highs then okay we look for next move to the upside as for now I'm watching for scenarios to enter a potential short uh, at this important level usd jappy so um, what happened here was a nice uh, overextended a b c d uh, i mentioned that in my uh, in my um, live stream on uh, trading view as well i think uh, and uh, yeah we could uh, look at it one more time so we had uh, this move here the a b c d move got completed here as an equal measured move at around this level then we had a little bit more extension to the upside and i've been saying um, i think i mentioned that also in my weekly overview that the monthly r1 here previous structure high 1618 fibonacci extension and the 200 moving average at that level with a an rsi at the extreme highs um, and the overbought area is a good level a, for a potential short term short um, to play an AB equals CD um, reversal here and this is a counter trend trade so the way you, you play it is uh, as I'm showing you here uh, this um, I'm in this trade already because I had my entry um, limit order here at the monthly R1618 the same area that I mentioned earlier um that was the entry target one on these uh, trades uh, when you trade the ab equals cd pattern is always the 38.2 fibonacci retracement from c to d completion yeah so you draw a fibonacci retracement your target one is all, always uh, 38.2 uh, and target two is uh, the 618 fibonacci retracement so you take profit here then move stop loss to break even on the first half of the position and then your target two is 618 where you close the whole trade because this market is uh, right now in a bullish trend and it might continue to the upside it might also continue from 38.2 as well that's why you need to take half um, position and then move stop loss to break even that will make it a little bit safer trade so we will see how this will play out you still have a chance if you get some other signals uh, on uh, next week maybe a double top that failed to break higher here that would be a good entry once again and yet again we target 38.2 and 618 to close the trade because it might continue and it should continue to the upside if we look how the weekly time frame is looking right now after this break here this market might continue push to the upside i'm not seeing big issues with that idea at all um, usd chief also reached the level of interest so since we broke to the downside and then we start to move higher after this inverted head and shoulder i told you guys our target should be these levels here because that is an area of structure that got broken lately it might be a retest and continuation also at that same level we have monthly r2 on the uh, pivot here monthly pivot um, that make it a good level for a uh, retest to then go back to the neckline and potentially continue higher who knows but <clears throat> sorry the major trend is bearish the market is below the 200 moving average on the daily uh, we are making lower lows and lower highs and now this could be a potential uh, longer term reversal but as far as there's uh, there is no break above this area here it might continue once again to the downside so uh, keep an eye on the four hour time frame here if you get yet another uh, failure here to break above previous high could be a good idea to go short back to the neckline to then take profit because from here bulls might enter once again to keep pushing this market to the upside because now they have this impulse correction another impulse we may end up with a correction yet again and continuation to the upside so it could be a start of a bullish trend uh, from this level here 
USD CAD, <coughs> very, very boring. I've been in this long trade for a very long time. Closed now. It is closed right now with a little bit of a profit. The main idea was here, break, retest, continuation to tag previous highs. But this market kept hitting this wall and moving down, moving down each time. And last week we end up with a lower high. We testing this level once again. It is a little bit tricky, but in my opinion, as far as this is holding, we might st still see the continuation. Yeah, we're still in a potential uh, longer term correction and then continuation. That could be the case. But if they fail here, I will ditch the idea for now because it's going to be short term continuation to the downside, in my opinion. So you see like this, it is making a lower highs equal lows this usually mean build up pressure for a break to the downside yeah so you need to be careful here uh, i'm out of the trade waiting for more evidence waiting for this market to be a little bit more um, give me a little bit uh, healthier trend um, honest and um, yeah as far as this is holding as far as the market is above monthly pivot point it may give you a bounce to the upside but if broken look for a continuation uh, to next major area which is at around this level down here okay usd um, uh, aussie usd sorry uh, so we had the break below the neckline here on the daily time frame and we were looking for this market to do something like this and continuation we will see it was a very bullish candle on uh, friday and the bearish candle was not a um, major candle so there is no bearish momentum the um, the only ones there were uh, we had was before the break and uh, since after the break there was no momentum for that continuation it is a little bit worrying especially that the rsi did reach um, below the 50 and then reversed back above uh, quickly checking the four hour time frame <clears throat> we see that we broke below the range we broke below the 200 moving average we will see if this now is a retest only and continuation i'm still interesting of that continuation now to the downside it is a level level of interest we have monthly pivot point we have 200 moving average on the four hour and this whole previously broken structure so as first my idea is to look for a continuation to the downside if we get any bearish signals around this area where the price is right now i would go with a stop loss above previous highs and still targeting 0.75 as the first area of interest so we will see if we're gonna get some double top or some any bearish signal at around this area to go short here or not uh, but if they fail to do that and the market start breaking above this previous high then we need to re um, reassess our idea and look for potential continuation yeah because the market is still a bullish market with higher highs and higher lows and it might continue but for that to happen i want to see a break above uh, previous highs uh, absolutely that is uh, a must New Zealand uh, USD also same scenario yeah still uh, to this uh, break to the downside here we were looking for a retest and continuation but the market end up going sideways we're still inside this uh, little range not must have changed we look on the four hour time frame and you see it clearly the market is right now trading inside this range here and having a little bit of a issues to break above this trend line as well as you see here and here we will see what will happen next week in my opinion as far as this high is not broken it could break above the trend line but as far as this previous high is not broken it might give us a bounce back to the downside it is still a ranging market yeah so uh, i will first look to see what will happen here if we get any signals to sell i will try to sell it if broken i will not do anything and will wait to see what will happen on this previous high because this is the most important level for now in my opinion if this market to continue higher it need to break above this previous high and if we check the weekly time frame you see that we did enter this area tagged little bit there and then pushed lower so for this market um, to really continue higher they need to break above all this so it might take a little bit of a time to uh, convince me and i would love to see this market 
pushing a bit lower before that continuation to the upside so that's why i will wait on the bullish side but on the bearish side i will try to short from this level uh, up here first if we get any signals so uh, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot hit that like button and uh, see you next week bye bye